Hi, my name is Sunny. I am a type 2 diabetic. I was first diagnosed in 2009. There have been several people in my life who have asked me what being diabetic is like and they're worried that they might be diabetic. I feel frustrated because it's pretty easy to find out what's going on but a lot of people don't know what to do. My need is to show how easy it is to get some blood work numbers on your own without involving any doctors to get more information about what's going on in your body. There are several different ways that diabetes is diagnosed. For type 2s, one of the ways is they'll take two blood fasting sugar levels and if they are both over, I think it's 120 or 125, something like that, maybe it's 140, uh, then you're considered to be a diabetic. That's how I was diagnosed uh, two years ago. But the interesting thing is that everybody takes these blood fasting sugar levels, but once you're a diabetic, they have you take these things called the A1C numbers, which has to do with the percentage of hemoglobin that has glucose attached to it or something like that, hemoglobin being part of your red blood cells. It used to be that A1C could only be taken at a doctor's office and they send it into a lab to get the result, but now there's a bunch of self-test, home test kind of things that you could use. The next time somebody asks me, hey, I wonder, I might be diabetic, I'm going to say, go watch this video and take the test and then you'll know. First, opening up the package. I picked this up at Walgreens for, I think it was just under $30. In the package you get a meter, one set for one test, another set for another test, and an extra thing to stab yourself with. There are two sets of directions. One is in English and the other one is in Espanol. They are fairly easy to follow. I'm going to start off by putting away the stuff I'm not going to use. Alright, here I've taken out the contents of the purple package. Stabber, blood collector, and the thing that you shake it into and then I'm not going to open this until we are ready to use that. Step one. These are one use only. You could just use a regular diabetic thing but if you're just figuring out if you have it yet or not then this does do a lot more blood than, uh, than you would need for a diabetic meter at least a modern day diabetic meter. Okay, that's perfect. And then you stick it in here. You close this really tightly. So there's no space around the edges. And you shake it. Two, three, four, five. And you put it down. And let it sit. This doesn't really hurt, by the way. Momentary pain, it goes away pretty quickly. Now, take this guy out. Stick it in. Comes up, it says wait. And then sample. Move the base from the shaker and you stick it down on here and you transfer. Basically, this is transferring a known quantity of blood into the um, thing. And I better clean that up before my wife sees it. And that's going to run for five minutes. I need to get this cleaned up. So after three weeks of eating badly, mostly um, due to Christmas, I ended up going from 5.5 up to 5.6 several things to keep in mind. Um, the A1C is a three month average because that's how long it takes for your red blood cells to die. However, if you do your research, you'll find that it is more heavily weighted to the front to the more recent weeks than it is to the older weeks. 
I don't know what a healthy number would be because I haven't personally checked healthy people. There's a lot of literature out there that says you want to keep it below 6. If you're a type 1 diabetic, that might be hard to do. I've seen people say, yay, I'm down to 6, this is great. Bunch of people who have a 5% club, so they're keeping theirs below 5. There's some standard numbers, uh, I think 6.5 and 7.5, depending on which organization you're talking to. In general, it is how healthy do you want to be. This is just a number that reflects your overall blood sugar health. So if you're curious whether or not you are having problems controlling your blood sugar, this is one way you can go about testing it. It won't cost you a lot of money, just 30 bucks at Walgreens. Then you wouldn't have to worry about it anymore, and you can either take action or no action, but at least you'd know.